where I kind of lose as far as this next place is Matt Campbell being in the top 10. And I think you guys are nuts for putting him as high as you did. Mm. I'm going to ask you guys this question. What has Matt Campbell accomplished at Iowa state that Kirk Ferentz hasn't done at Iowa? Because Kirk Ferentz has more 10 win seasons at Iowa than Matt Campbell has been at Iowa state period. Matt Campbell has never won 10 games in a season yet. He's coming off his best year. And again, I had Matt Campbell at, let me see, 17th so or 16th. It's not like I don't like Matt Campbell. It's just, what has he done to be a top 10 coach? Where, where, what program do you think is easier to win? Bingo. I think was, Iowa has more tradition. Matt Campbell has resources. done stuff. Yeah. Was I, Iowa Matt, easy to win at before Ferenc was there? The guy's much more, titles. much easier. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, look, uh, Matt Campbell has done stuff that Iowa State has not done in a hundred years. We hadn't had the Spanish flu the last time Iowa State was this good. They weren't even called Iowa State the last time they had back-to-back seasons this good. I'm pretty, I, I looked this up for an article last year. They were called, like, something different. It, it was, like, turn of the century. Like, because Iowa was the only show in the state. Yeah, I, I think it's much harder to win at Iowa State. Like, if Matt Campbell loses, do you think Iowa State's going to bowl games consistently? From, from I don't. 2000 to 2005 – they were winning nine, seven, eight, seven games a year, which is exactly what they're doing now. And again, I don't, I don't want to come off like I'm slamming Matt Campbell. I just, I think there is far too much projection for what you think is going to happen in your rankings for Matt Campbell than in what has actually happened. It's a bit, a bunch of eight and five seasons. And then last year was nine and three. And again, okay. Iowa state's more difficult to win at than Iowa. Sure. But is it more difficult to win in the big 10 or the big 12 right now? But their last nine wins. I think it's more difficult season, to win in the Big 12 than it is the Big 10 West. He doesn't have to play the East teams. But their last tw- uh, nine win season was t- 2000. And yeah. before that, it was non existent. I'm going last back. Year was also Last year was also the first time he had fewer than three losses in a season in the Big 12. Okay. So my Matt Campbell, uh, my Matt Campbell take is tied to the most subjective thing, which is the AP poll. Because Iowa State did not make a single appearance, at any, not one, in the AP Top 25 from 2006 to 2016. An entire decade of not being considered one of the 25 best teams in the country. The last time that they finished in the AP Top 25 was, I, I, I'm just, I'm scanning it, I'm scanning it, uh, 2000. Okay, that was well, it. Let, me, let me put this way. Matt Campbell finishes ahead of Dan Mullen, who did everything you guys are talking about Matt Campbell doing, but he did it at Mississippi State in the SEC Ah, West with a completely dog crap program and turned it into something respectable. And now he's one, you know, he was playing for an SEC title at Florida. You have him ranked ahead of Ed Orgeron, who won a national title two years ago, who granted is coming off a bad year and I'm lower on too, but still a national title winning coach. Matt Campbell's better than he is. Mac Brown has won a national title. He's revitalized (laughs) North Carolina. Uh, Matt Campbell's better than than he is James Franklin has revitalized Penn State. Hey, Matt Campbell's better than he is. Matt Campbell hasn't accomplished anything what the guys behind him have accomplished. Yet we're pro- prop- we're propping him up ahead of them already because he I think had you a make good points. Season at Iowa State. I think he is four spots too high. I would have those other guys except for Ed Ogeron, who I think is another one on here. I had Orgeron, but yeah, I had Orgeron below Campbell on my ballot as well too. It's just it's like when I when I'm looking at where he's finished and where he's ahead of some of the guys and what they've done. It just it blows my mind.